Good morning, all you beautiful people out there. I'm coming to you guys live Wednesday morning here at East Line High School. It's about 8.25. It's been an early day. Had to get up at 4.45 this morning. Had a head coaches meeting for spring sports. I happened to coach uh, girls softball here at Leiden. So we had a 6.45 meeting, and then we had our training for the park testing. So this year, a new wrinkle uh, with our school. We're actually going to be providing the park test in individual classrooms on the same day that we are running ACT. So it should be pretty interesting. Uh, the new system seems fairly intuitive. We as teachers, we will be driving the facilitator roles individually within these classrooms. So kind of interesting, but uh, our presentation via our assistant superintendent, Michael Storsley, it was seamless, it made perfect sense. Uh, much appreciated um, his time and guidance in regard to that this morning. So uh, it's, it's a crazy week for me because of tryouts for softball. It's very exciting, but it's also very exhausting. In terms of our PBL work for this week, we have today and tomorrow that we're going to be finishing up these thematic connections where kids are uh, trying to match specific themes from the literature covered to what will likely be their end projects per our PBL exhibit on April 13th. Uh, sitting next to me, I thought I would show this to you. It's kind of cool. A couple freshman boys put this water wheel together and they fashioned it after a design uh, that they discovered and researched via ancient Greece, which is pretty sweet. Uh, they are still troubleshooting how they're going to hook up the water source because via our presentations they're going to be going down in the little theater here at East Leiden. So they're going to have to figure out water source which is really cool. They're going to have to figure out how to finish it, how to decorate it, um, and how to incorporate some of those thematic links to this for people to see. So they have some really really cool ideas. You know, Case in point, one of the themes that they've discussed that stems from Homer's The Odyssey is the idea of perseverance, this idea that it took Odysseus 20 years to get back home. Granted, you know, did he slip up from time to time? Yeah. Did he have some questionable acts and deeds? Sure he did. But there was a certain level of perseverance that he had to endure to get back home. So their connection is, hey, Anytime that you invent anything, there has to be a certain degree of perseverance to that because there are so many failures tied in with the creation of inventions. So for them, they want to show how perseverance is playing this significant role in the creation of this water wheel. And they're also researching other inventions during the ancient Greek era and how they uh, changed and morphed over the years even to present day 21st century. So I think that they're on the right track and it's really, really cool to see them building something in an English class and then, you know, using, you know, fusing humanities with math and science and research is absolutely phenomenal. So very excited about that. Uh, other things I want to share for today, I'm going to share with you my lunch. I guess I'm not really sharing my lunch with you because I'm going to eat it and you're not here to share it with me. But through the digital, uh, through these digital channels, I wanted to show you that, hey, typical teacher lunch, when we are getting up, let's say, like this morning for me, I got up at 4.45. I'll be here until 6.30 to 7 o'clock tonight because of tryouts. But um, because of my meetings this morning, I wasn't able to get to a fridge. So on days like this, you gotta bring stuff that you don't have to refrigerate. So I'm going peanut butter sandwich, no jelly, just peanut butter on whole wheat. I'm going, I'm doing some munchos and I realized that this isn't healthy, all right? But I need something crunchy and it's gonna help get me through my day. Then I have an apple, all right? So that's, you know, 
This is my solid lunch for today. I did grab an oatmeal this morning from McDonald's. Granted, I tell you what, McDonald's, the only reason why I drink your coffee is because of, of your oatmeal. Because honestly, um, Dunkin' Donuts coffee is superior. But you got to do what you got to do. And uh, for my snack before trouts begin, a go -Gurt. And granted, I know I stole the Fruit Punch go -Gurt from a box of go -Gurts that are actually for my three-year-old daughter, Avery. Um, I'm not going to tell her because she would be highly disappointed. Maybe there is something wrong with a grown man eating a go -Gurt. Uh But you got to do what you got to do. So it's all about survival, okay? But it's going to be a great week. I'm excited to share out with you all tomorrow, letting you guys know what we're doing. Tomorrow we're going to be prepping for our Socratic seminar for Friday. We're going to do a freestyle seminar, which would be really cool. I'll use a swivel camera on Friday, and I'll upload that to my rockstarscrackseminar.org website too, so make sure that you guys are checking it out. Great stuff, and make sure that you guys check out the feed too that the kids uh, created via their transcripts. Okay, so have a great Wednesday, and thanks again. We'll see you.